Right, well, that was a, a, ni a nice little tribute there to, to Gene Kelly. Right, well, now we're about halfway through the ceremony, so how are we doing so far? Well, by my reckoning, 11 British nominees have been up, and we've won five Oscars, which is not at all bad. Anyway, Ian, getting back to what we were talking about, we were talking about Richard III. I'm plugging this movie for you, but <laughs> is it true that you actually mortgaged your home to get it made? You're joking. No, oh, no good. I didn't know oh, that. Good. I gave back my salary in the, la in the oh. last three weeks in yeah. order to pay for a day of the battle, but yes. no, no. I wouldn't mortgage You're not my that home. mad. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's, it's a pity, isn't it, that films don't get properly financed. And, you know, for another extra million from somewhere, yeah. dollars, uh, we could, I don't say done a better job, but we'd have done it a little bit easier and, and people would have been properly paid. Yes. But no, I didn't mortgage my house. You didn't mortgage your house. I'm very, I'm very relieved to hear that, yeah. yes. Yes, now, we were talking earlier too about, you know, winning, winning the best Oscar and, you, and, and but it, it is very important, surely, to an actor because your price goes up, I would imagine, that the kind of roles you're offered get better. Yes, but you know, there's only one a year and, and uh, one in your lifetime if you're lucky. For, for, uh, so it's not something you can bank on. It, it, but they are totally obsessed with it here. I mean, yes. When, when I was not nominated, I got more calls, I think, from people um, apologising or, or, or commiserating than if I'd actually been nominated. Uh, and, and then uh, when I agreed to do my next film, uh, uh, the director, Brian Singer, said, don't worry, this is the year you win the Oscar. You know, before I've even begun to talk about how I'm going to play the part. So, I, it, it's all a bit of a nonsense, but uh, quite pleasant. And it's certainly around here. I mean, it, it's almost hysterical, isn't it? The, yes. the, the interest it goes on. And I love this. It's got to be a fiction that this Oscar show is watched worldwide by a billion people. Well, a billion people is almost one in five of the world's population. Mm. And I find it hard to believe that one in five Chinese, one in five Indians, one in five Bosnians are now sitting down wondering, is Babe going to win Best Picture? Well, do you think the Bosnians are, the Bosnians are ticking off how many awards they've won tonight? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, how many are watching at home? Uh, at, at this point, I know, two men like and a dog. No, I, I would think, yes. Well, it's, I, it's think, I mean, if I were in London, I'd be watching. Yeah. Why not? Yes, it's... it's um, oh, dear. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, we ought to, I suppose, ought to talk about Oscar, since it is Os, Os, Oscar night. Have you ever been to the, the actual ceremony? No, but I've been enough to ceremonies to know that it's extremely boring. I mean, mm. what perhaps people at home don't realise is that while, whilst we're talking here, or the Americans are watching their... Um, commercials, yeah. uh, there's nothing happening in the auditorium. So this wonderful stage show yes. uh, suddenly stops and everyone goes out for a cigarette or a drink or a line of coke or a chat with their friends yeah. uh, and, and when they go out uh, substitutes are brought in to sit in their places and suddenly the stars are replaced by their stand-ins. Uh, it, and I, people who go to the Oscars feel it's a bit of a bind to have to go, unless of course they win. That's that's the crucial thing. Yes, if, if you win, it must, it must be a little bit special if you win. Yeah. Um, do you have any particular favourites? Anybody you would, from now on in for the rest of the show, that you would like to see winning? Well, I'm like everybody else who has a vote, which I don't. I, I hope my friends will win. Uh, they being Jonathan Price, very sweetly sent me a note having seen Richard III and said. Wonderful performance, you're absolutely spectacular. Of course, I won't be voting for you uh, for the Oscars because he was going to vote for himself. Uh, and then you vote for your friends. And if yeah. you're talking about friends, I hope Susan Sarandon wins. I mean, I think yeah. she's a, a great actress. And, and in this, in Dead Man Walking, which I don't think is opened yet in London, the, uh, she opens up her soul magnificently. Yeah, and Sean does. Penn, too, uh, as her co star. Well, we'll see fairly soon now. Yeah. We're just back to Oscar.